Lampard, Drogba, Terry. Those were the days, eh? A couple of weeks ago, David went to Stamford Bridge where he was asking Chelsea fans whether their poor run of form is at the Sari or the players. Sari's partly to blame because obviously it's the players' job to perform out there. Both. Mixture of both, to be honest with you. Uh, I think it's a combination. I think, uh, I think the players need to sort of come together a little bit more and adapt to the style. Um, but I do also think that if a manager's coming out and saying that they can't motivate players, that's a key, that's a key part of the job. The players. I think it's probably a bit of both. Sorry. A bit of both, I guess. Sorry's tactics. The sorry ball is good to take time, but I don't know. I think it was just one of those days. I think the players. Both. If you want Sorry out, fine. If you want Sorry in, fine. I want Sorry out. I think it's been the players. The motivation has not been very good. But uh, I think we have to give more time for Sorry, and I think he will do a great job. Um, I think the players. They got the players, but they don't want to play. The tactics. I change it up completely. So that's what the fans say. Now let's put it to the numbers. Back in October, we took a look at Mauricio Sarri's tactics at Chelsea and why they were bringing them such great results. As soon as Mauricio Sarri arrived at Chelsea, he began reshaping the team in his own image. He switched them to the same 4-3-3 system he employed at Napoli. Since then, however, their forms tailed off severely and Mauricio Sarri has repeatedly questioned his players' ability to execute the system that he's trying to implement. This has been reflected in a slide from second to sixth in the table and fewer points collected per game. So for this week's Three Minute Myths, we'll be asking are the failings with Sarri's system or with the players at Chelsea? Our first step is to check whether Chelsea are actually trying to play the same style. Our team persona tool shows that on the surface at least nothing's changed about Sarri's system at Chelsea. There's actually 99% similarity between their playing style when comparing their good and poor periods of form. They still play a high possession style of football however recently they haven't dominated shots as much as they had. Looking at attacking and defensive performance we can see that Chelsea's results have got worse and it's mainly because their attacking output has dropped. They now take around five fewer shots per game. On top of this the quality of chances they create in a game is almost halved. On the defensive side, they aren't conceding many higher quality chances per game, so it looks like the problems lie in attack. This narrowing and expected goal difference has meant that since November, in half of Chelsea's games, they've had a less than 50% chance of winning. This was the case in only a quarter of their games before November. So we can see that Chelsea's current performances are actually getting the results they deserve, and it's not the defence's fault. But what are their problems in attack? When we compare Chelsea's shot map to earlier in the season, we see that they're producing fewer shots from close and central regions. These types of chances are usually associated with higher chance quality. But why is this? One way to understand why Chelsea's shot volume has dropped is to take a look at how successfully they get the ball into the box. When we look at successful passes into the box, Chelsea are ranked highly out of the top six, so it doesn't seem that the system's failing to supply strikers with the ball in advanced areas. So it's likely that even though they have the same number of chances in the box, the strikers aren't finding good opportunities to take shots. So it looks like Sarri's system is still providing Chelsea's attacking players with the ball in advanced areas. They're just not taking the chances. So there we have it, Sarri's system hasn't really changed from when Chelsea were on that great winning run at the start of the season, but the players right now aren't quite finishing their chances. Where should we go next? Let us know in the comments below. But in the meantime, this has been 3 Minute Myths, Delusions Debunked in 180 seconds.